Those fights will certainly take it out of, of, of somebody like Katie Taylor, who's known for being fit all the time, training all the time, working all the time. And there may be a day when she ages, but at the moment, she certainly showed no signs of, of decline in her ability, which is obviously phenomenal. Exceptional champion and exceptional role model. But, you know, this is a big fight tonight for, for both fighters. It's a massive opportunity for Natasha Jonas. And it's a good chance for, for Katie Taylor to cement her position as the number one female in the world. It's early. Going of course, but uh, Jonas struggling with the distance at the moment. Taylor just raiding in and out. I think Taylor's struggling a little bit as well to find the distance with a jab, but as is always the case with the southpaw when you're against the southpaw, it's quite difficult to land the jab, but then Katie Taylor, what she does great is what she's just done then, coming in in base, claiming, getting back out, so coming in in base, back out, back in in base again. The single shots won't do it for Katie Taylor, but the combinations will. If anybody hasn't seen Katie Taylor, I mean, yeah, she's got all the skills, but she can get rough and ready as well if she has to mix it up. Please, please. Nice job from Jonas making Taylor miss. Taylor <laughs> so looking to try and work inside. Marcus McDonald letting him work as well. Turning off there, Jonas. Head <laughs> oh, smashed together. We really came together. Yeah, Taylor just, uh, leading in there. <laughs> Words of sympathy from Marcus McDonald. Get on with it, there's nothing wrong with you. But there was definitely a clash. Taylor has certainly settled the better of the two here, no question about that. All the action at the moment coming from Taylor, the aggressor. Jonas trying to keep on the back foot, trying to counter as she comes in, but Taylor just proving a little bit too quick at the moment. Jonas like seems happy with the way Jonas has started this. I'm not sure she's landing enough to uh, claim anything in these first two rounds, though, Paul. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's better. Made a miss. Yep, that's one. There's not been too much landing. I think the aggressor and the rough stuff is coming from Katie Taylor. Tasha, as we've mentioned, is trying to, trying to counter and trying to wait for Katie Taylor to overcommit. But in fairness, I think there's been good advice from both corners that we've heard in the rounds. Good game plans from both fighters and both teams. And it's got to be for Natasha Jonas. Let the hands go. And she's starting to do here because it's uh, all action swarming stuff here from Taylor. To the body there from Taylor. You see the old tricks there from Katie Taylor pulling, pulling the left hand of, of Jonas down and banging her with a right hook as it comes in from the side. Just the old tactics pulling the guard down first and then swinging a right hook around the side. <laughs> Are you doing anything with that lead hand there, Jonas? Oh, the body shot certainly did something, but uh, Taylor's come back. Not where Jonas can win this fight, though. Not close like that. Bringing the back hand through and playing, getting through again. Now, can she make some kind of a dent in Katie Taylor? Jonas has to be sharp and has to be faster. Taylor has the speed. Taylor has the work rate and, 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 and the speed and the aggression. Jonas is waiting, but she has to be faster and sharper to the punch. Settling into it, though, Natasha Jonas here. After that slow start. Good counter there from Jonas with a right hook. She's all over the place, It's better, much better from Jonas. Good right hand just landed from Katie Taylor there. The jo Natasha Jonas has to be careful of not looking too much for the counter before actually blocking the shot by coming away. Good jab there from Jonas. She took one earlier as well. From Taylor. Telling off again for okay, holding. Right right 
Jones again a little bit tentative here in this fourth round and allowing Ta Taylor just to set the tempo here. for the big shot, isn't she? Reaching for a bit there as Taylor was just out of range. Taylor just landed the, the good counter there, right up left, oh, good shot back. from Jones. Yeah, that was nice, really nice and sharp. Balance is all over the place, Tasha. Devin and in the fight. One fighter has a success, and then the next one has a success. Nathan Taylor again just falling short of it. She lands there, though. Yeah, I was going to say. It made it's good to serve. It's a good yeah, shot from she, Jonas. She doesn't want to be getting involved in any of that with the, the Jonas power in that backhand. That can be a level up. Back comes Taylor. Yeah, and, and this is where she's so gritty. She's she's just not a little finesse player type. She will mix it up if she needs to. A jolting right hand. Jonas will land, but she's got to not get carried away. You get carried away and you walk into three or four shots from Katie Taylor because of the sheer speed and the punch volume she has. Good jab from Jonas. Good left hook, yeah. right hook from Jonas. Yeah, followed it up with the right hook. Very nice. Disguised it. And landed it beautifully, but back comes back Taylor, Taylor again. Taylor. Yeah, she's so good at... If you get the initiative, she's so quick at taking it back off you. Good turn off there from uh, Jonas. He's been uh, on the receiving end of a few words from Marcus McDonald tonight. Well, you heard Joe Gallagher say that's another round you've won there, Tasha. Encouraging, but can she build on it? She's really just, I just feel she's got to just go through the gears here now, Porter. Yeah. Just keep this pressure on, win these rounds clearly if she can. Yeah, I'd like to see more work from her, more, more work rate. Taylor obviously ha is leading in that department with the work rate and throwing more punches and more output. <laughs> This is where you don't want Katie Taylor to be working off like this. This is where she needs to be. Taylor in front of Jonas, letting go, letting go with fast combination punching. Certainly digging in the body shots here, Jonas, and then switching it upstairs as well. And is she making a little bit of an inroad here on Katie Taylor? It's good stuff from Natasha Jonas. It, is, it really is. I tell you, she's really sat down on these punches in this seventh round here. Jonas still working the body as well. Got a lovely left hand downstairs. Got to now keep a shape. Jonas, not not not, not throw this round away now. Keep a shape. Keep tight. Keep fighting away. Joe Gallagher in the referee's doghouse. Yeah, lovely. But it goes back to what you said earlier, Paul. She'll land four or five, can you tell? Okay, she takes one back, but she's landed so much. Oh, a nice jolting, swinging left hand there from Jonas. And Taylor takes it well and comes back. Jonas has heard this. Yeah. She had a lot of success and she's just been here with a right hand from Katie Taylor. Just stiffen the legs a little bit of Tasha Jonas. Comes back with a right hook. This is a great round. Effectively, Jonas working her own left hand. Effectively there. This has been, you take your shots, I'll take mine. It's been a much better round for both of them and a much harder round to score. With the high knockout ratio. Yeah, she, she, needs, she needs to put Katie Taylor on the floor here, you feel. I think both fighters know that they probably need this last round. Katie Taylor, I think, just to cement the decision of Natasha Jones to make it an arguable one, a very close fight. Been tough to score some rounds, but exceptional quality from both fighters. Great body shot there from Jonas and Boyd Taylor has taken some body shots today. The Taylor still looks fresh, still looks strong, still has a lot of running. Again, the body shots come in from Jonas, and again, the flurry upstairs from Taylor. He's certainly thrown more, certainly landed more. And barring something incredible here, has surely done enough to hang on to her titles. Just the sheer speed and punch on of, of Katie Taylor in this round has won of this round, and I think as one of the fights as a result. But what a great fight and a great effort from both fighters. Should be very proud of themselves.
Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Manchester, England, we go to the judges' scorecards. Yuri Kotsev, 96 to 94. Michael Alexander and Andreas Stenberg both scored about 96 to 95. All three were your winner by unanimous decision. She's still yeah, undefeated. Yeah, Katie Taylor gets it, but my and goodness me, those cards were close. Two of them just one point in it. Yeah, just one point, close fight. Katie As I said, great effort from Natasha Jones Taylor. and a brilliant effort from a great champion.